nobody out there. This is Vagabond Zero, and today I'm going to do an unboxing of the uh, ground type GM. Now this is a, a old high grade, of course. They still haven't made a, a high grade uh, one. Uh, one of them in the uh, high grade UC line. So, anyways, of course, this is a 144 kit, and I believe it came out in the mid 90s. Let me see here. Yeah, 1996. I don't know if, um, I got this, um, I don't know how long ago, like, um, a bunch of, um, months ago on Hobbit in Japan, they had a restock of them. They, you can still get them. But for, like, a long time, they were, like, um, out of production, or I don't know what it was, but they were very hard to find, and every single time I found one on, like, on eBay, they were going to, like, close for, like, $50, and, you know, I really, uh, I did really want one, but I'm not gonna pay $50 for that. So... Yeah, I was pretty happy I got it, and so this will actually go along with my um, ground type uh, EZ8, the old one, of course. So, anyways, um, let's just check out the side of the box here. Well, let me just move the camera a bit down. There you go. So yeah, here's a ground type uh, GM. And of course, it tells you about the other two kits. Um, here you get the twin uh, twin set kits that come with the ground type Gundam and the uh, the ground type um, Zako 2, which is the MSO MSO6J. And of course, some more shots of the ground type gun. I mean. Ground type GM or GGM. Match just from the back of it. Showing the weapons. The um, ground type bazooka, missile launcher, machine gun, the shield, and the um, beam saber. And the price for this guy was the retail price was um, 800, 800 yen. It was like eight bucks, but uh, on Tommy Lee Japan they're like you know ten or twenty, twenty percent off. So it was it was like six forty, I think. Yeah, something around there. So I'm gonna just uh, open this guy up and see what he comes with. So right off the bat, you can tell that the uh, white coloring on it is not really white; more of a sand color. So it's very nice. And of course, here are the beam savers, and they come and they come in. Um, they all come in the transparent tank, including the handles. So that means you gotta paint the handles, of course. And of course, you get the um, what do you call the um, uh, foil decal stickers. And you got the little uh, triangle ones. It looks like you, you get the visor one. Which is um, kind of crappy because I, I, I do like the um, kind of like the what is it that they didn't uh, they do nowadays uh, Bandai does is just they do give you the um, foil sticker but they also give you the plastic visor of it so it kind of shines and give it more of a um, kind of a nice um, look to it. And of course, it comes with little black square things. I don't know what those are for. And over here you can see that the the orange. Pretty bright orange, I uh, have to say. And of course, uh, a little history about the G uh, the ground type GM is that it was actually the, the first GM. They were actually the um, early types, should I say. Until they ended up uh, making the uh, mass produced ones. And they say that the ground type ones are actually much, uh, much stronger, much better than the uh, regular GMs. Anyways, on to the next one. Right here in the decal, right here we can see some more decal stickers. That these are for the, uh, these are transparent ones. Of course, it comes with the uh, numbers for you can put on the shield. So you know, you can beat any, um, when you build it, you can be any team you want. You know, team zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight. 
Oh, nine. And of course, it comes with uh, nice stickers of the of the Federation uh, logo. And of course, I hear the side skirt that comes with. Um, you can see it comes with um, what do you call the um, magazines for the uh, 100 millimeter machine gun. And of course, here's the um, the uh, head. And I hope that one day they do make a higher UC of it. So I like the um, plastic visor of it. Anyway, so uh, yeah. and next up right over here is um, the poly caps for it. Standard poly caps, nothing fancy. And of course, because it's from the mid '90s, it comes with the um, the um, poly cap type hands. And of course, these are kind of hard to move. Anyways, um, you see here, here's the uh, bazooka, very nice looking. Here's the um, clip for the bazooka. Uh, I think are these um, extra hands? Yeah, I think these are, yeah, for the hands for the, um, holding the um, weapons. Of course, there's the stock, here's the um, butt stock or whatever, the foldable stock for the one for the machine gun. And of course, here's the parts for the uh, missile launcher. Or, of course, stuff for the uh, more stuff for the uh, missile launcher. More stuff, more hands. And of course, uh, kind of vent. I think vent stuff for the and stuff like that for the machine guns and missile launcher and bazooka. So, next up is the uh, manual, of course. <clears throat> of course, you can see right here, it's uh, nicely done up, nicely painted, and of course, it has some weathering on it. I'm going to probably put some bit of weathering on it. I'm probably going to do the same the same trick that I did with the um, with, uh, my EC-8. I did some weathering, uh, um, weathering on it, which I haven't shown it off, so probably will show it off in a video one day. So anyways, it was a nice weathering the, on it, you know, standard weathering, not heavy or anything like that. Of course, inside tells you about the, um, all the stuff it comes with, like the movable thrusters, the shield, the missile launcher, the bazooka. Huh, and it shows you can actually open the hatch, kind of like the, um, the, um, old easy, um, high grade. And of course, a machine gun. <clears throat> Excuse me there. And of course, um, two ground GMs on in action. Of course, it tells you about the AFM steam right there. And there's some color charts of it. I really do hope that uh, Ben, I kind of. Um, ends up making color charts of English because I saw that the 3.0 uh, Master Grade comes with um, some English words for the um, color charts. And of course tells you all the um, trees, how to put it together. So yeah, I guess that's it for the unboxing of this guy. I'm going to start building them today. And of course, I, probably, I have like two or three other kits I'm building at the moment. One, uh, one of them I have to vote for another different um, kind of contest type thing. Anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing of that. And of course, I hope they do make a, a high grade UC of it one day. So, uh, I guess I'll catch all you guys later. Keep on building those gunmen. So yeah, later.